The Ghana Education Services delegation to the school on Monday morning, which was made up of the Deputy Director General of Ghana Education Service, Stephen Kweku Owusu, the Acting Northern Regional Director of Education, and others inspected the said Banzaba dormitory and the cubicles which were said to be toilet facilities that were converted into an accommodation facility. During the inspection, the team saw about five cubicles which were originally designed as a toilet facility being occupied with students' trunk, chop boxes, and gallons. From observation, the said cubicles have never been used as toilet facilities, but rather looked as though an uncompleted facility. The Deputy Director General in charge of Management Services of the Ghana Education Service, Stephen Kweku Owusu, speaking to the media after visiting the school, said, Findings of the admission will be made public after the Director General is briefed. GS management's attention was drawn to media circulation or video circulating in the media regarding the management of this school. I'm talking about Ghana School, uh, putting students in the toilet or on a toilet. And we decided that uh, the regional director should come down here to find out the truth of the report. We have received a bit of reports, therefore we decided to come from GS headquarters to find things for ourselves in a way to corroborate with whatever the report is in the media or otherwise. So that is why I'm here. I'm here uh, detailed by the Director General of Ghana Education Service to come to the school to find out how the situation is so that management can make the final decision on this. So that is why I'm here. What I can see now is that because I was sent by Director General, uh, it will be proper I get back to him and submit my report to him. So if it becomes very necessary for us to engage the media again, we will let you know what is happening. Actually, we, there is no way that we can hide whatever facts that we have from the media because it's already in the media. So we will get back to you. And we are so much grateful for your support so far. Whatever it is, we will let you know. The Northern Regional Minister, Shani Alassan Shaibu, also visited the school to get first-hand information. The observations that we have made is that there are not all those points in the cubicles that were originally meant to be used as washrooms were even closed. And these things have been there, have been in that use for a very long time. So for somebody to say that students are using them as dormitories uh, could not be true, it's unfounded, because the space in, in between those cubicles cannot even permit a bed or a mattress to be laid, let alone to be used as a dormitory. Uh, so I do not know. But there were other positive things that the reporter could have reported on, because we have new facilities, washrooms and bath facilities that have been scattered around the... the, the I can see two on this side, newly built, in use. He could have reported on those things too, to if he actually wanted to do a balanced reportage. But he chose to do a one-sided false statement and leave. Yes, I don't know, maybe for want of his own expression, he decided to do that. And I would call it uh, irresponsible journalism and it should be treated as such. Ghana Senior High School, since its establishment in 1960, has produced prominent personalities in the country. It has a current population of about 3,000. However, the said dormitory, which toilet facility is alleged to have been converted into dormitories, has a capacity of about 120, but currently houses less than the maximum number. This new 800 capacity get fan dormitory facility was recently commissioned to house students. Some students have also been speaking to City News on the situation. Where they say was toilet wasn't actually toilet. Because since we came in with years back, we've never seen it to be any. There is no material there that you will, maybe you see that it will be a feature of maybe toilet or something like that. But with the actual fact, we don't have, we have extra spaces in the dormitories for to be allowing other students to go there to sleep. The only thing that is there is that those people from far places, maybe from Volta region, Accra, and then all those houses, when they are going back to the houses, they don't carry their chop boxes and their mattresses there. So the only 
keep their mattresses, their gallons, and everything of this day. So that when they come back, they also come back and pick them back into their uh, various rooms. But some of your colleagues said they lodge in that cubicle. Actually, there's no one sleeping there. It's only when after prep, when someone wants to study. You know, after prep, the classrooms are always locked. No one is allowed to study in the classroom. So after prep, when the person maybe wants to learn throughout the night, that's where they go in there and then have their studies just for the night. And then maybe sometimes some people also with the midnight prayer, the Muslim prayers, some people also go there to have their midnight prayer since the mock sometimes is always locked. That's what they also do. So we are prayer mats. But we saw mattresses in there. Yes, that is what I said. When those who are going back to their various homes. And some of your colleagues were in there as well. Yes. Sometimes they, because the uh, top boxes are there, they just sometimes just sit there. Some people also just sit there too. Converse. Are you uh -huh. saying this because you the investigation is out already? Um... No, that's, that, that, that's the truth. That's the truth. There's no one sleeping there. Then there is no one. Even those that are always in campus, the chop box are not always there. It's only those that are always we are at, at home. We are at home by then. Those uh -huh. So those that at vacation, that they, uh, that is the place they always keep their things. That's the only thing. And maybe sometimes those that are always inside there is maybe those that bring their jars of water. So we don't put the water inside the dormitory. That's where we also keep the water. So when they come and they put their uh, jars of water there, that's when they get there to take their water and go and bath. Do you personally go there to study? Mm, I have done that sometimes before. Meanwhile, all students of the school have expressed disappointment in the report, insisting that there are enough bed spaces for students in the school. Alaji Baba Yakubu is the president of the All Students Association. Uh, well, uh, apart from uh, this building, uh, Cabral Banzaba House, we have a very we have a building. In fact, uh, I wouldn't call it an abundance, but we have a, a, a building, an occupied building that had previously been used as accommodation. But because we have more than enough to take care of the students in respect of uh, accommodation, we have moved the students to the new uh, building that was put out. And that building is there unoccupied. So accommodation for students isn't a problem at all, let alone to force them to sleep in uh, what is it, the cubicles that was uh, you know, showcased to the whole public. Uh, what Merimai says is this, uh, the facility is there and occupied. And most of the students are coming from very far places. As we speak, only the second year students are here, even few. Many of them are still at home. So it will not be proper for us to expect the children to carry their uh, chop boxes, mattresses, and everything uh, home whenever school uh, is not in session. So the, uh, uh, it is true you saw students. And that is so because it is a, a, a facility meant for student accommodation. So they could have been there for a different thing other than what was sold out to the general public. It is very clear that, yes, the rooms were originally designed to serve for the purpose of uh, toilet facilities. I am an old student of this very house, Banzaba House. I entered Ghana School in 1993 and left in 1995. Within the period I found myself as a student for three clear years, the facility was never used as a toilet. And my inquiry has even moved back to even 70s, 80s, and 90s. The place has never been used for toilet facility, let alone for the, uh, the, the school to think of converting it when we even have excess capacity for uh, residential accommodation for the students. Nonetheless, there are some newly constructed toilet facilities which are yet to be opened for use. Management insists that the place was not a toilet facility and it was never converted into a dormitory for students. According to them, there's excess accommodation to house students here. From Ganasco, I am Dinah Ungwan, reporting for City News.